The 1960s. We only had three channels, but we had great TV shows, many of which adorned the containers we used to take our lunches to school. Join us now as Collector Guys celebrate the classic TV lunchboxes of the 1960s. Whether you watched them first run or in repeats, TV programming in the 1960s has a unique place in TV history. A decade of escapist programming with absurd storylines. Now a close look at some of the lunchboxes featuring those classic primetime TV shows. First, no westerns on this list. There were a lot of great western TV shows in the 1960s, and many of them were made into lunchboxes. So we're going to make a video just on those separate from this. And second, we're going to refer to this as a bottle. I know a lot of people out there call these thermoses, but really thermos is a brand. And for our discussion, this is a bottle. So let's start our list off with one of the classic TV shows of all time, The Beverly Hillbillies. Premiering in 1962 and running for nine seasons, The Beverly Hillbillies is still one of the most watched programs of all time. This is the first of many examples of the quality artwork that lunchboxes during this time had. The sides and bottom show their journey from the backwoods of the Ozarks to Beverly Hills. And the bottle is just like the box. Great wraparound artwork. Next, the famous residents of 1313 Mockingbird Lane, the Munsters. The Munsters premiered on CBS in 1964 and only ran for a couple of seasons. But its short run sure has not hurt the popularity of this lunchbox. This is a very desirable box and highly sought after by collectors. On the bottom is a nice roll call with Lily, Herman, Grandpa, Eddie, and Marilyn and the same artwork is used on the bottle. Get Smart, created by Mel Brooks and Buck Henry. Get Smart featured Don Adams as Maxwell Smart and Barbara Feldman as Agent 99, both prominently featured on this box. An obvious James Bond ripoff, Get Smart featured a number of various spy gadgets, most notably his shoe phone. And this box would not be complete without one scene of him battling his arch nemesis, Chaos. The dog is Fang, or Agent K-13, which you think K-9 would be a, probably a funnier name for the dog, but K-13 was written out of the show after season two. Surprise, 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 it's Gomer Pyle. Gomer Pyle was a spinoff from The Andy Griffith Show. This is an interesting lunchbox. Humor and hijinks between Gomer and Sergeant Carter on the front and back, but the sides have more of a full metal jacket feel with a wraparound illustration of American troops marching through the tropics. The bottle is back to the humor with another great wraparound illustration. Holy lunchbox, it's Batman and Robin. Classic Batman action, front and back. And the sides and the bottle feature our dynamic duo protecting the good people of Gotham from the many villains we have grown to both love and hate. So is this a comic book box or a TV show box? Since this was released in 1966, which is the same year the popular TV show premiered on ABC, I'm going to include it in this list. Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea, the first of three shows on this list created by Irwin Allen, later known as the master of disaster for movies like The Poseidon Adventure and The Towering Inferno. The star of the show for us kids was the nuclear sub, the SSRN Seaview. 
which is prominently featured on this lunchbox, along with the flying mini sub that could become airborne out of water. A very cool show, a very cool box. The iconic Flipper. Based on two feature films, Flipper was the highly intelligent pet of Chief Park Warden Porter Ricks and his two sons, Sandy and Bud. Another example of the excellent artwork found on boxes during this time. Lifelike illustrations of Flipper are found on all sides of this lunchbox. How could you watch Flipper and not want a dolphin as a best friend? Rat Patrol. Rat Patrol was set in the North African desert during World War II. I, like most boys my age at the time, loved this show. I mean, come on, machine guns on the back of a Jeep? How awesome is that? This not only features the great military action that we loved on that show, but also features illustrations of all the main characters. Again, another of many examples of great artwork on this list. The Fly Nun. Outlandish premise? Sure, one of many in the 1960s. This is a bright, beautiful lunchbox. The illustrations capture Sally Field and the cast perfectly. The artwork wrapped around the sides is really nice, with Sister Portrayal's fellow nuns used as transitions on the corners. Just a fun lunchbox for a fun show. Land of the Giants. Land of the Giants aired for two seasons on ABC and was another Irwin Allen production. Caught in a time warp, the crew of the transport ship Spindrift became stranded on a planet where everything is 12 times larger than on Earth. What I remember about this show is the giant props they use for everyday objects. Of course, when everything is that big, an ordinary house cat can mean big trouble. Another of many 60s lunchboxes that are highly sought after by collectors. Gentle Ben. Based on a children's novel, Gentle Ben told the story of a boy and a 700 pound bear. Set in the Everglades, the show starred a young Clint Howard, brother to Ron Howard, and Dennis Weaver as his dad. The program only lasted two seasons, but like most of the series of the time, had a long life in syndication. One really cool part of this show, other than having a bear as a best friend, was how Mark's game warden father got around the Everglades in a really cool airboat. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. This box is a virtual 1960s time capsule, but a strange lunchbox for kids. There are two versions of this lunchbox. This one with Artie Johnson busting through on his tricycle, and another with Artie again as Wolfgang the German soldier. Its sketches launch dozens of catchphrases, many of which are highlighted on this box and its bottle. Julia. Like this series itself, this lunchbox is historic for being the first to feature an African-American woman. The artwork here is spectacular, beautifully capturing the likeness of its star, Diane Carroll. The sides and bottom all feature very realistic illustrations of the cast. 
The bottle is just the cover designed as a wraparound. And if you're looking for a little added entertainment, go check out the open for this show on YouTube. It's pretty groovy. Family Affair. Family Affair ran for five seasons on CBS. A wealthy bachelor, played by Brian Keith, struggles to raise his deceased brother's orphan children, teenager Sissy and precocious twins Jody and Buffy. Not the most exciting box, but then again, not the most exciting subject matter, though this show had a pretty long run. Actually, the most famous thing on this box is probably Buffy's talking doll, Mrs. Beasley, which not only became a popular toy in the late 60s, you can still buy her today. Lost in Space. This dome is one of the more popular lunchboxes out there. Inspired by the book, Swiss Family Robinson, this is the third and last Irwin Allen show on this list. It has everything Lost in Space fans would want. The Jupiter 2, robot, great graphics, very colorful. What is surprising is that such a wonderful lunchbox came with a generic space bottle that had nothing to do with Lost in Space. This was also used by Thermos on other space-themed boxes. Oh, and Todd Alden, I have your lunchbox. Now, next on our list, Hold on a second, there's something at the door. Check this out, I just got this. Another 60s show, The Man From UNCLE. Seriously, this just came in while I was making this video. The Man from UNCLE, a box packed with action and espionage. Capitalizing on the popular spy craze of the 1960s. In fact, James Bond creator Ian Fleming contributed to the concept of the series. The artwork has more of a character feel to it, which can be attributed to the fact it was done by the great Jack Davis, who is known for his work on Mad Magazine. Another lunchbox that's very sought after by collectors. What I love about vintage lunchboxes is that they're drenched in nostalgia. And these TV shows from the 1960s are perfect pieces of pop culture. You can't look at these and not be happy. Thanks for watching, Collector Guys. Please hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our great videos. And always remember, surround yourself with what you love.